Derek and Janice here at City Hall in Grand Haven. They held a special work session for to talk about these issues, and they told us earlier today that it could cost as much as $3 million or more than that to make all the fixes to Harbor Island boat launch and the roads. They say that they simply can't pay for all these repairs on their own. High water has uh, impacted uh, some of the infrastructure in the city. And that infrastructure comes at a high price. Grand Haven City says to fix the flooding at 5th and Adams, it'll cost at least a million dollars, with other estimates putting the fix at a whopping 1.7 million. And when it comes to fixing Harbor Island boat launch, the numbers come in at 1.3 million, more money than the city has. Yeah, millions of dollars. We're hopefully uh, going to be able to fund uh, a few of them tonight uh, with some some decisions by the council. To fix roads like 3rd and Coho and Harbor Island Drive, they'll have to raise the road more than the water has already risen by about three feet at a cost at just over $300,000. No, it's going up. The Corps of Engineers is is predicting the water levels to rise this spring, higher than were last spring. Monday night, the council okayed the city to look into fixing both Coho Drive and Harbor Island Drive so emergency vehicles can get through safely. Right now, those roads are covered by at least four inches of flooded icy mess. To front the 300,000 or so dollars it'll take to fix those intersections, the city will have to delay other projects like road resurfacing plans. The other two projects, totaling at more than three million, will have to wait. But we heard any updates, some of the governor may issue a state of emergency. The council says funding all the infrastructure fixes could be dependent on the state. Giving them our cost estimates and uh, letting them know that these are important public projects that are probably the tip of the iceberg. As the water shows no signs of stopping. It's been challenging. Challenging indeed. Now Eagle, as well as, as, well as the Corps engineers, are having a meeting, a work session, Thursday morning at around 8.30 to hopefully work through some of these issues. I know Grand Haven City is especially hopeful that they'll be able to come up with some additional funding. For now, live in Grand Haven, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.